Welcome back to Greece. We head south again. The Pindos Mountains are very remote and as off the beaten track as you can possibly get. No other vehicles in sight all day. The road, a little bumpy at times, takes us to this very interesting place. Kipinas Monastery, built into a vertical rock face over 800 years ago. Eventually, we get back to the coast and find this beautiful spot. The little cafe right on the beach is crying out to us, take a break here, take a break, and we do. We settle down for the night in Lefkada, a beautiful island on the Ionian Sea. The next morning we leave Lefkada via the unique ferry bridge and continue our ride south. The coastal road is an absolute stunner, riding has never been so much fun. A coffee break in Astakos, right by the water, under the plane trees, basking in the warm morning sun. Oh, life can be so good. Then it's time to leave mainland Greece behind and go to the Peloponnese. Since 2004, this can be done very easily by taking the so-called super bridge. This cable state bridge is almost two and a half kilometers long and is considered to be an engineering masterpiece. Once on the Peloponnese, we immediately head inland to find some stunning mountain roads. Greece is mountainous almost everywhere, you know. We come to a small but picture-perfect Greek village in the middle of nowhere. In the center, there's a giant plane tree that has a church built into it, big enough for up to 20 people. The beauty of the scenery and the variety of the sights and the landscape along our route are breathtaking. Churches and fortresses, picturesque villages with cozy caffeineons and tavernas on every corner. A rest day in Vitina, a pretty mountaintop village, gives us the chance to spend an adequate amount of time in ancient Olympia. This is where, in 776 BC, the Olympic Games took place for the very first time. Back on the road, back to the coast. We head to Mani Peninsula, the middle finger of the Peloponnese. Our destination is one of the most spectacular hotels on this tour. Which means a lot, as all the places we stay at are quite impressive. Part 3 of the Best of Greece tour will soon be available on a screen near you.